the companions of the elephant. In the Quran, Allah mentions the event that took the place in the year of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam birth. Abu Raha, who was the Christian king from Yemen, built a church in Yemen and wanted people to visit it rather than visiting the Kaaba in Mecca. So he built an army and marched to Mecca to destroy the house of Allah. When uh, Abraha arrived in Mecca, he took many camels belonging, belonging to the people. The Prophet's grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, went to ask Abraha for the camels to be returned. Ab- Abraha said, I have come to destroy the Kaaba, and all you think about is camels. Abdul Muttalib said, I'm the owner of the camels, and that's why I'm asking you to return it. My Lord Allah will look after the Kaaba. Allah let Abraha plan the de- destruction of the Kaaba. Abraha spent a lot of time training the army and the war elephants, getting money and making the weapons so they could destroy the house of Allah. Allah destroyed their plans and the army of Abraha by sending flocks, birds to fill the whole sky. They had stones in their beaks and feet. Their birds came above the army of Abraha and dropped the stone which hit the army and smashed them into bits. From this story, we learn that those who mistreat people will soon get what they deserve from Allah. Allah will show them that Allah is the one who, act, who is actually in control.